I need to perform when it really matters, and that's at Worlds, at the Olympics, and I haven't done that yet. Um, this is great, great show showcase, sorry. Nothing on the line, but 30K should be more in all honesty, but uh, like, like I said, like it was a no pressure situation. I had nothing to lose. And I just was like, man, I just want to go home. Maybe if you're I tired. I at six o'clock, so. Maybe if you're tired, <laughs> yeah. athletes, uh, it's, it's better to have the one-offs. No rounds, you just go under it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like for certain people that'd be good, but I think for US athletes, like we kind of feed off of that because we know how to run the rounds better than anyone else. But I'm not gonna advocate for any change today. I've done that enough. Did it yesterday on Twitter and this is blowing up, so yeah. <laughs> Well, you said $30,000 you don't think is enough for first place in this meet. What do you think is appropriate prize money? For this meet? Yeah. 200000 I mean, like, let's be honest here. It's like, like 2019, it was, what, 50000 So, I mean, it's just kind of like, what do we, like, how did we take such a far step back um, between events, I mean, between the years, and we're supposedly doing well as, as an organization, as, as World Athletics, so... I don't understand the financials behind it. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I do, but I mean, like from, as an athlete, like knowing that I was I was in the final in 2019 and the prize money was 50,000 and now it's like 30, it's just like, what are we really doing here, you know? So it's just, I, I think there's ways to go about making a change. I, like I said, I don't sit behind closed doors and I don't know what the conversations are, but like if you're, if you're regressing and <laughs> instead of progressing, then that's just kind of sad. I think world goal to be like 400 then or something like that? I mean, I, I, there's no reason why we shouldn't be making real money here. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're athletics. They're doing pretty well. <laughs> so, I mean, that's just not like, it's just, it doesn't make any sense to me, but yeah. Right, when you said coming into this race, you had nothing to lose. Yeah. In the race, execution wise, like what were some of the risks you took? I didn't take any risk. I was just like, I got out. I was like, dang, these guys are moving. And my race plan just was to go 13s all the way. Ended up running 12s to four because I was just kind of behind and I just opened up a little bit and I looked up the field and I was like, man, these guys are like, I let them go. And it was just playing the rundown game from there. Um, like I said, Coach Watts told me just to run home, run off the turn, like be the right Benjamin I know you are. So that was just kind of like my, uh, my, my execution cue. So I did that, just that, and I just felt like a gust coming off a of 10 and just ran home. So that was just it. Do you feel different physically or uh, like health-wise compared to Budapest? Um, I feel just about the same. I mean, like I still have this nagging quad here that's just, it's below a threshold that I can like withstand, but realistically I should be at home. And like I said, my flight's at six. I plan on running and going back and getting on this flight back to LA and just kind of enjoying my, my time off. but. I feel just about the same. I think the difference is in Budapest, I just, I just, I just didn't run the race I was supposed to run, and we were training for a certain race model, and I stuck to that race model, and I just, I paid the price for it, and I didn't execute like how I was supposed to. It felt like I just got caught in space, and I was in the same position in Budapest, like coming off the turn, and it was just like I just didn't, I just couldn't do it. I don't know what happened. I just. My body just wouldn't let me do it, so yeah. So this was a different race model, being more conservative. Yeah, I just went. Yeah, I just went back to my old race model, in all honesty, and it's been working. So I think we should probably just go back to that, in all honesty. So yeah. yeah. And you you beat Costin here at Worlds last year, but he wasn't 100. Like, yeah. what does it mean to beat him? And you know, you know, he's not hurt or anything this time around. It means nothing. I didn't do it at Worlds, and I haven't done it at the Olympics. So this is Diamond Final, like. No one's ever going to remember Dominic Champion. Everyone's going to remember Olympic Champion. So I just need to perform when it really matters. And I just don't think this is like indicative to his season or anyone else's season. They performed when it mattered. And the bottom line is I didn't. So, but I mean, I'm grateful for running fast today. I'm grateful for getting a win because, you know, a lot of people just kind of like are disappointed in me, like going to these major championships and not really performing as well as I should. So. I mean, I'm just happy to kind of like get this one out the way. I just felt like I just got over like a little mental hump there, so do you, pretty good. Do you feel like you underperformed in Tokyo though? That was an amazing race. Yeah, I lost. So underperformance. <laughs> I was supposed to win that race, and I'm supposed to win every race. That's just my mindset. But I mean, it was a fantastic time. But the reality is, someone else broke the world record and ran faster on that day, and he was 
the better man and he's always consistently been the better man when it's time to run so i need to get my i need to get myself together and really perform when it really matters i just asked allison this i asked carson this who's the Olympic favorite. I know you're going to say yourself, but it's sort of like make the case, I guess. Why are you? Why, why, would you why be? am I? Or yeah. well, unless you don't think. Because I'm dangerous. <laughs> I mean, I came out in hunting gear today. So I, I came I came duck hunting. They have this in these little duck uniforms. <laughs> and I'm a Trojan. I was like, what is going on here? So I had to bring out the Nocta hunting gear. But um, I'll always make the case for myself because I feel like I'm a great athlete. And I mean, the whole field, I mean, what we've been doing over the years, like I said on the podcast, is just it's just phenomenal so i'm always going to advocate for myself of course because i know what i can do and i just need to start really putting it together when it really matters but um i'm taking right benjamin for the win 2024. carson just also said that you made his off season a little shorter like what do you how short's your off season i guess when are you getting back to work i'm I guess, taking a month off man i'm going Come home on. yeah today right now <laughs> um i mean i think he should take some time off and rest as well too i mean it's an important year next year so you just kind of want your body to heal and come down and it takes a lot to run this fast all the time and like not allow your body to rest so i i mean him both him and his coach have done a phenomenal job so they know what's best but i'm gonna go home it's been a long year mentally i lived in germany for most of it so i'm gonna go home and, and that was dr wolfhart that you were saying yeah, okay. yeah so i've been hurt banged up just i didn't race much this year so and just all the mental ups and downs. I'm gonna go take a break, man. You said this this win against Carsten doesn't mean anything for you in terms of championships, but does yeah. it give you any sense of renewed champ, uh, uh, renewed confidence for the future now that you've beaten like head to head for the first time? Yes, yeah, slightly. I mean, I, I don't think I lack confidence. I always have confidence. I just haven't been able to piece together a good race because I just haven't been healthy and I just haven't had the races, but coming off of worlds and just having those three weeks to really like prepare at first i was like i'm done and then of course you get the call saying hey we're gonna give you the buy and we're here at free with these nike checks so I'm not even gonna go into that one but um yeah you just have to come and i was just like you know what like last one close it out no pressure have fun and just go home after did yeah. you get a buy into this meet then for yeah i did i don't have the points okay. i had like eight points i won i guess i won doha and that was it and i was hurt the rest of the season so. so do you know which one you get because one of the buys you can win the title but you don't get the prize money the other one you get the prize money but you don't get the I think title. you might actually be in because there was someone who would be for last year oh yeah I don't so know so I think you and Maggie got this so maybe you didn't get 30,000 like, stupid stuff like, <laughs> yeah like why am I not getting the money because I didn't like, it's, do you, it's whatever do you think that lack of pressure going into it helped you at all uh slightly yeah I was relaxed I was like laughing I was actually talking to Carson before the race we took a picture and everything like it's just no press diamond league final man like it's not like who cares dog like <laughs> you know what i mean but yeah that's just my that was just my mindset today i was i was just over it to be honest i want to go home yeah you what's think? the plan for the off season i'm gonna cycle bought a bike go cycling man so that's my plan for this off season do you think you'll be yeah, um, able to sort of replicate that mindset going into the olympics having no pressure uh i'm gonna try because I'll be a fool to, to sit here, stand here and tell you guys there is no pressure at the Olympic Games because there is pressure and it's like, it's gonna be a way different than Tokyo, um, given that we'll ha actually have fans and have that whole situation and being in that atmosphere. So that, that adds to it, that climate adds to it. And I think I'll try to channel some of what I did today into next year but i still have to be a little bit more serious because i was like really just taking the piss before the race like seriously <laughs> yeah.